Okay, say hello guys. Hello. 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 Hey, hello. hello. Currently we are going to KIA2. Uh, okay. Finish, guys. We'll see we'll see you there. Uh, okay, we'll see you there. Bye bye. I just need to work out some way of getting me to you. Cause I will never find love like cows out here in a million years. A million years. Hi guys, so we just got it. Hi. How are you? Hi. We're like really, really tired right now. Yeah. Say hi. Wow, tired. Not really. Not really. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
is starving as hell. So let's fast forward to then. Have you observed any differences maybe between like the young people here and the young people back at home? Phuket is not good because so many Russian tourists here. Yeah. And uh, I don't like this. Oh, it feels like home, eh? Yes. <laughs> so many differences. I feel like um, in Thailand, the children have got to grow up very quickly. So I, I've seen I've seen a few because I've got a little brother who's ten, mm. and I feel like a lot of ten-year-olds here have to grow up so quickly sure. and then start thinking about what they're going to do as a yeah, job. And then I don't feel like they have that childhood. Whereas in England, the childhood is so prolonged. Yeah, you have yeah. school, primary school, secondary school, then you have college, then you have university. Yeah. The whole time you're still a child. Whereas here, you just got to grow up. I feel like the role of genders is a lot different here from back okay. home. Oh. Like I do feel women are quite objectified here. Oh, okay. So, especially more the back home, like a lot more. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And there's a lot more tourists, like everywhere. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, we're going to tourist places, yeah. but like in general, when you're traveling. It's really oh, okay, I see. Um, I would say. People, well, it may not be the people from here, yeah. but I've noticed um, Asian youths are much more preoccupied with taking pictures of themselves rather yeah. than <laughs> pictures of like the what you're looking at. Yeah, true, true. So I'll be, for example, I was in Singapore in the gardens and people were taking pictures of themselves, but not of the flowers yeah. and the, which is funny to me because like they'll post these pictures, but you can barely tell where they are. Yeah. Yes. There's no like context, yeah. it's just their face. It's very different, different to England. Like everything is different, the food, the people, they're not happy here and then <laughs> <laughs> everyone approaches you but in England we just can't. Yeah. Hello everyone, um, Lee here and right now we are doing our interview at the beach, as you can see. And right now the interview is currently taking place. The group over there is New Zealand and Joshua is doing the interview with them. So um, we'll see you guys when we finish our interview. Alright, see you guys. Hi guys. I don't know. <laughs> Hi guys. Woo! We are like so done. Woo! We are almost done with our interview. There's two more left. So we are going to party before we finish our assignment. So fuck yes. It was a good day today, it really was. And then they are like so fucking good. Won't go home without you. I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> on this part of the world, I think you from the other part of the world are really travelling like taking gap years off like do you think like maybe like the media now and globalization itself, pop culture is like play a very big role in uh, men in making their minds to do this? Oh, a lot. Definitely a lot. Because I feel like you see a lot more on social media than you ever could see. Um, and so people have access to their country to see like new places that look really beautiful online. And you can all push to go there. It's so, like if every day I see some new country, then eventually I'm more and more inclined to go like more Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, not just pop culture, but even like social media and um, stuff. You see a lot of like, Instagram models, yeah. and you see a lot of people on Instagram and you know YouTube influencers. Influencers, they are all going to these hot countries, and, yeah. and you see it all in their pictures, and you see it on True, their vlogs yeah. and stuff. And all the time, you know, it, it makes, you, it makes want you, want to to, yeah. you want to go. You want to go and do it. And also, not only that, but the the transport is. So there's so much more variety now with transport than there was yeah, it's much years more convenient, ago. Exactly, it's yeah. so much easier and you can get flights for cheaper. So it's so much yeah. easier to just jump on a flight and go to Thailand yeah. than it was, you know, like 20, 30 years ago. Sure. But yeah, it definitely has an influence, 100%. Sure. I think social media, you see all the pictures and things and it makes you want to travel more. Or just see... And it also means that you see pictures of the places you're going and they don't feel quite as new because you've often seen pictures. I think it's a positive thing. Yeah, it's a positive thing. Yeah. 
so you get to see what other people do. Yeah. So you can kind of um, uh, do the, the same. To, uh, yeah, but maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe not because uh, because you if, if the social media wasn't there, yeah, you would be more surprised. And yeah, surprised true. Yeah, see, see the yeah. Surprised, yeah. culture and yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. I think. Um, a lot of my friends see these pictures that I'm posting and want to come here, but they also only see the beautiful pictures I post, not like yeah, yeah. the grueling hike to get up to the yeah. lookout and like how <laughs> sweaty I am before I like took the picture. Yeah. So I don't think it really is glamorized because getting over here takes 30 something hours and mm. then traveling between here is not easy and yeah. it's hot and there's lots of bugs. So like they see these gorgeous pictures, but they don't see the bug bites, the blisters. Yeah, it, yeah, the they don't see other the. How do you prepare yourself before the trip? Like maybe mentally or financially? Saving up for the last six months. I would say definitely do your research before coming here. That's one place. Even just researching things like the way the taxi services work and the, the way you get around and things. Visit. It's really important to do your research before you come here. There are some places you can start. Oh, mentally well, or financially. Yeah. <laughs> Learn from experience. Yeah. Yeah. Get it wrong the first few times. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you get it wrong. I've done a lot of research on this. I'm yeah. online. Yeah. Uh, Lots of online research. I'm TripAdvisor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah a lot of TripAdvisors. Yeah. yeah, you're traveling alone, right? Well, I started out with my boyfriend yeah. for two weeks, and then I was with my sister for a few days, and now I'm doing the rest of it alone. Mm. Um, I would say mentally, I just had to get sort of in the mindset of doing part of it alone, yeah. knowing that. I'm a young woman, yeah. it is a little dangerous, but I mean, as long as you're not really drunk or not paying yeah. attention, you should be fine. Yes. <laughs> um, I prepared mostly by researching what to bring. Yeah. Um, because I knew, I mean, with the language barrier, some medication might be hard to find. Sure. I yeah. did get in a motorcycle accident oh, in shit. Chiang Mai, so that was hard dealing Dude. with all the medical stuff. Yeah. But it's okay. Hello guys, so we all decided to come out for supper because you're we hungry. hungry after after yeah. beating the yeah. two games uh, of card <laughs> games. Yeah, we we're just chilling in the hostel. And Lee and Brad did not decide to come because they were sleepy. So it's just me, Yeezy, Nicholas and Joshua. Okay, after that we'll see you tomorrow because we're so tired. Just gonna see you later. Do you have any advice for youth who have not travel outside the conference so or maybe don't really dare to like take this time off and do it on their own. Do it! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's so worth it. It's definitely worth it. You would never regret traveling. No. Let's just take your Until you've got here, yeah. Yeah, get out and give it a go because you never know if you love it once you give it a go. There's lots of cool things to see around the world. We're going to keep traveling. We never thought we would love it until we gave it a go, and it's so much fun. Well, I think everyone should definitely do it. Everyone should definitely go travelling at some point. But if you're not comfortable, definitely wait until you are comfortable and don't just jump into it because it is obviously a quite a big deal. Yeah. Depending on how, how long you go for it, if you're going for a few months and, and you're not ready, then you don't want to suddenly go away, then you, you're missing home. True. So, but yeah, I definitely do. I think it would be amazing. 100% got to do it. It's kind of great experience. Yeah, the experience the word itself. Exactly, yeah. you have to do but it. I, I think you kind of hope that people like from Malaysia itself have to change their minds actually to think this way because all they do is like oh yeah, from school to college to work and then for the rest of your life. Yeah, they, don't, they don't really think about what's outside Malaysia maybe like definitely. that. Definitely. Yeah. Well, my parents never went travelling. They've been on holiday to loads of different places but I know yeah. my dad definitely has never been travelling before and one of his biggest regrets is not going travelling and the problem is once you've got a family and you've got yeah. you just won't ever do it. Yeah, so true. You have to do it while you're, while you're young. Yeah, so true. Definitely. Okay, that's what you're doing now. <laughs> yeah, I mean you've got to see it because it's all, you see like your town differently. It's, yeah. all, it's all different. There's different to it. I can't. So you just have to do it. Um, if you're scared to travel, I'd say definitely go with friends. It makes it a bit easier. And go on a trip that one of your friends has already gone on because they can give you advice. Yeah. But nothing worth doing is ever going to be like without a little bit of fear. Yeah. You're always going to be scared to do something new. It's always going to be. I mean, I was scared. Like everyone gets a little nervous before yeah. they do something that's going to make them uncomfortable. But 
those are the things that make you grow as a person. Yes, that's very true. So hi guys, it's like a it's a free day for us today. We've done our assignment, so it's a super chill day today. We are playing Pakatan. Lee's losing. Yeah, so this is like the game. Sitting by the beach, it's raining right now, so super chill day. Oh my god, my hair. Yeah. So yeah. Done. So you guys not asking me for sale? No one. Shit. <laughs> so, uh. Hi, Mr. Ken. Yeah, we, we took the pop culture before and we took to Ho Chi Minh yeah. last time. So we basically take along with them to Phuket because we just want some. Vacation. It was fun, I would say, especially when you're hanging out with a group of friends. It's a very, I would say, a very fun trip, considering that you're traveling your friends instead of family. It was my first time going to another country um, with a group of friends. Uh, it was fun. So personally, I feel like this is a great experience, being able to travel with my buddies. We have the whole floor to ourselves. Oh my god. This is so sweet. Yeah. What, this, what this trip and this assignment kind of taught me was that we obviously know we will learn the differences between the, our culture, the Malaysian culture, and the culture from other countries. Like we interviewed someone from Russia, from England, the Faroe Islands. And, but that's not all. Like even I observe like the culture in Thailand itself, in Phuket itself. It's so different from Malaysia. A lot of people say like Malaysia and Thailand is pretty much the same because we are like the same part of Asia. But I would say like the way we grow up and the way the people, the, maybe like the teenagers, the youth in Thailand grow up is like really really different. The people here in Malaysia, us, we have kind of a longer time to grow up. We have school, we have high school, we have uni, we have like all sorts of things and then all sorts of entertainment. I would say to kind of keep us young. More longer, I would say. But then, I think the youngsters, the youth in Thailand, don't have that. The access to different to, to things is like I think Malaysians get more access to more like higher technology, to more a bit more like contemporary pop culture stuff. But then the, the children in Phuket don't really get that. So that's kind of what I observed when I was there. But there are some challenges that we face. The language barrier, dealing with the local people over there, but with with the people we interviewed, it was quite easy. They mostly spoke English. I'm always afraid that our stuff, our stuff will be stolen and and something like that. Because from what I heard, that this group, uh, one of the member got her phone stolen in Vietnam. Is it? Yeah. <coughs> yeah. So that's why I always keep track of my my friends' belongings, safety, and then we always put our bags in front, make sure there's like no backpacks behind, if not, they'll, they'll just easily take our stuff away. Yeah, that, that is, every day when we go out, I will have that fear because you never know what might happen and stuff like that. So, the second problem we faced was being able to find people to conduct the interview with. As, as not because they didn't, ha didn't want to conduct the interview with us, it's rather that they didn't have the time to. Yeah.